You are listening to Passport Talks, a podcast on how to become a true cosmopolitan, how to travel the world without visas, create a safe haven for your family, and access top-notch education and healthcare with a second passport or residency. How many citizenships can you have? Two, three, or more? Is it possible to obtain multiple citizenships? The answer is yes. You may have three or even six nationalities, but legislation in some countries does not allow dual citizenship. You may lose the citizenship of your home country. For example, Austria requires foreigners to give up their previous passports. Let's find out the conditions and pitfalls under multiple citizenships. Which countries enable multiple citizenships and which do not? The number of passports directly depends on the legislation of your home country and other countries. Not all countries allow multiple citizenships. For example, suppose you live in Finland and you're interested in obtaining a Monaco passport. In that case, you're forced to renounce your first citizenship and be only a citizen of Monaco, since Monaco strictly prohibits dual citizenship. But if you live in Finland and you want to obtain Dominica citizenship, a Caribbean country, you will not lose your original passport since both countries allow multiple citizenships. In this case, you will have two passports. The USA also allows dual citizenship and does not require giving up a previous passport. Some countries do not allow multiple citizenship, and some even consider having dual citizenship a criminal offense. These are some Asian states, African countries, and others. The Austrian citizenship law does not allow dual citizenship, except for persons who acquire two citizenships at the time of their birth. For example, a person born to Austrians living in the United States acquires both Austrian and American citizenship at birth. How to Obtain Multiple Citizenships The process of obtaining citizenship of another country can be both simple in some cases and cumbersome in others. There are several paths you can take to gain a second nationality. Family Ties This way is quite simple if you have a family relationship with a person who has lived in another country and can prove it. There are laws called Citizenship by Descent that allow you to gain a second passport in the country of your ancestors. Citizenship by descent can be obtained in Greece, Ireland, Spain, Italy, and other states. Marriage. You can apply for a second passport after marrying a country citizen. The period for obtaining citizenship depends on the state. For example, you can become an Argentine citizen the day after you get married. But to have a Swiss passport, you must officially live together for at least six years. In the EU countries, there is a strict policy to prevent fictitious marriages. In Germany, couples must live together for at least three years to apply for citizenship. Naturalization Another possible option to become a citizen of another country is to live there for a long time. Obtaining citizenship by naturalization is a long-term process, and you should have a solid reason to live in a foreign country. It is not eligible to get a tourist visa and stay abroad for 10 years, but studying or working abroad allows you to obtain citizenship if you meet the following conditions. 1. Long-term residence. 2. No criminal record. 3. Knowledge of the state language and history. Depending on the state, there may be other conditions. Germany, for example, requires official employment. To get citizenship in the Netherlands, you must come to the country to take the oath of allegiance. Investing Some countries give the possibility to become their citizen by making investments, such as St. Lucia, Dominica, Turkey, and others. Foreigners and their families can apply for participation in the investment program and get a second passport. There can be several investment options. Buy a property. Make a non-refundable investment to a state fund. Purchase government bonds. Invest in a local business. This path is simple and suitable for wealthy people. Investors usually receive passports within six months after the submission of documents. 
Most of the programs allow returning the investment after a while. For example, St. Lucia enables selling the purchased property or getting a bond redemption five years after receiving citizenship. In the case of obtaining citizenship by investment, investors must confirm during a due diligence check that the source of income is legitimate. Which countries grant citizenship by investment? Turkey, for the investment of $400,000. Antigua and Barbuda, for the investment of $100,000. Dominica, for the investment of $100,000. Grenada, for the investment of $150,000. St. Lucia, for the investment of $100,000. St. Kitts and Nevis, for the investment of $150,000. Vanuatu, for the investment of $130,000. Countries such as Portugal allow obtaining a residence permit by investments of at least €250,000. Foreigners can buy real estate, purchase fund shares, open a bank deposit, or make business investments. Portuguese residents can apply for citizenship after five years of having a residence permit. They can obtain it without moving to Portugal. Greece also provides a residence permit by investment with the possibility of obtaining citizenship several years later. The total period for obtaining Greek citizenship will take seven years. Applicants must prove their knowledge of the Greek language and the country's history and geography. Benefits of having multiple citizenships Ample opportunities for business development Entrepreneurs can open new sales channels abroad and expand their business. It is possible to open accounts in reliable banks and work with partners without currency control. In the Caribbean, such as St. Lucia, there is an opportunity to invest in a local business, obtain citizenship, and have a good return on investment. Visa-free travel The second passport of Caribbean countries, for example, Grenada, allows visa-free entry to more than 140 states. European citizenship opens visa-free entry to more than 170 countries, such as Germany, France, Italy, and others. Better education Second citizenship allows studying at the best universities without a student visa or extending the job search time abroad. International students have limited time to find a job. For example, they only have four months in the UK. With a second passport, you have more time to get a better offer. More choice and freedom. Multiple citizenships allows one to live in a country with a better ecology, a pleasant climate, and a better health care system. Having a passport in the Caribbean, for example, St. Kitts and Nevis, citizens can spend the winter in a warmer place with attractive views. With access to European countries, for example, it will be easier to travel to the best attractions like the Eiffel Tower or the Colosseum. Pitfalls of having multiple citizenships Despite all the benefits of obtaining multiple citizenships, you need to be aware of possible pitfalls. Difficulties of working in public positions People with public positions and access to state secrets may encounter problems gaining multiple citizenships. Having a second passport may be prohibited for military officers, employees with access to state secrets, ministers, deputies, or judges. Unstable situations during conflicts Having multiple citizenships during conflicts between two states can be risky. People have to define which country to choose to carry out military service. In the second country, such a choice may lead to a tribunal. This disadvantage does not apply to participants of investment programs. As a rule, neither investors nor their families are subject to serve in the armed forces of the country of second citizenship. Potential increased taxation. There is a risk of double taxation or an increase in the rate of some taxes. For example, foreigners with dual citizenship in the UK must file US taxes. That's it for today. 
This has been Passport Talks, a podcast on how to become a true cosmopolitan. The link to the text version is in the description. To learn more about second citizenship and investment programs, visit our website, immigrantinvest.com. Follow Passport Talks and stay tuned for new episodes on all available platforms. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you on the next episode. Thank you.